In this podcast episode, I talk about what I consider to be a healthy attitude when it comes to being on medication to treat mental illnesses. Like me or someone that struggles with their mental health. Yes, I know it's a pain in the ass, but you are not alone, as you'll see from this podcast. Hi there, my name's James, and thank you so much for checking out my podcast. I'm a happy married father of three, and we live on the south coast of the UK, just outside Brighton. I'm on a mission to support people who, like me, struggle with OCD. And the thing that I have found has given me the most comfort, or a lot of comfort, when dealing with this, is hearing about other people's experiences of how OCD affects certain areas of their life, and maybe some suggestions of what they do to combat it. After doing a CBT course that I did with the NHS that I was referred to by my GP, in 2010, I was told that I had pure OCD. This made a lot of sense. And if anything, it was actually a bit of a relief to realise that I wasn't completely insane and I did actually have a mental illness. The problem with mental illnesses, unlike other illnesses or physical disabilities, people can't see them. So maybe it's the outside world, you might just be looking like you're being a bit odd or you're being a bit strange. I'm very lucky to have a very long suffering wife who will never get back those minutes when she sat in the car waiting for me to try and leave the house but I'm checking the door 10 times. My OCD manifests itself in the compulsions of checking doors and taps, but also the intrusive thoughts that I might have done or said something that has upset or hurt someone. I really struggle with driving, and I'm not sure if I've ever had a car journey where I haven't convinced myself I've done something horrendous. The one thing I would say that does bring some comfort, if you're listening to this and you struggle with OCD or intrusive thoughts, is that you're really not alone. And I'm really hoping this channel just raises the awareness that there are other people out there dealing with these battles on a daily basis. I've been on prescribed medication for well over a decade to try and help deal with my OCD and the depression that can often lead from it. And every few months when things are getting better, maybe family are in a good place and my job situation's in a good place and I feel a bit better, I often go to the GP and say, I've got off the antidepressants now and... The advice I would give anyone else who's on medication for OCD is the advice that the GP would give me is that choose your battles. Look where you are in your life. For starters, you should never come straight off your medication unless your GP has advised you to do so. It's actually probably quite a dangerous thing to do. And as a father of three with a dog who's self-employed, who has money worries, as my GP says to me, now might not be the time of your life to be getting rid of things like medication that are genuinely helping you. So yes, you might like me be wishing you weren't on medication. I don't like the fact that there is a part of me that relies a little bit on a medication, but it's just what it is at the moment. I'm hoping it won't be like this for the rest of my life. But if it is, would that be such a terrible thing? If being on medication, along with daily cold showers, along with doing creative things like this, along with doing jiu-jitsu, along with taking the dog for a walk, if all of that bundled together is the thing that helps me function as a human being with OCD, is that such a terrible thing? And the answer is no. The one thing I would really like people who are watching this, who may be struggling with their mental health, who may be specifically struggling with OCD, is just be kind to yourself. And if, like me, you struggle with the idea of being kind to yourself, for lots of reasons that probably a therapist would have an absolute field day with, at least be as kind to yourself as you would be to other people in the same situation. When you're busy judging yourself being on medication, when you're giving yourself a nice dollop of shame for checking the door an extra few times, just think, would you be giving anyone else such a hard time for doing this? I've accepted that having some level of OCD is probably something I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. I don't know if we ever get completely fixed of our mental illnesses. I feel like it's something you have to get used to living with. But there are things that I know that I can do to make my experience better. Doing my best to get as much good sleep as I can. Not drinking too much. Eating healthily. All the stuff that we're told and that we know. I really hope you got something for this podcast. As I said, I'm generally trying to create a community that supports people who struggle with OCD. And like any group or community, it's much more interesting when there's two-way conversations. So if you have a question for me on anything to do with OCD, or you just want to say hi, that would be hugely appreciated. And if you like what I'm trying to do and want to support this channel, 
please subscribe and give me a like. As a very small YouTuber trying to compete with massive YouTubers and trying to get my message to support other OCD sufferers out there, if you could be kind enough to watch this video to the end, that would be hugely appreciated. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're okay and take good care of yourself. Like me or someone that struggles with the mental health. Yes, I know it's a pain in the ass, but you are not alone, as you'll see from this podcast.